Hey guys, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac with me, Hollow. We are back once again. I uh, hope you're excited. I am. It's time for us to try once more the Isaac the D6. We had a, a recent D6 run, um, on the last run, in fact. And uh, we did pretty damn poorly, admittedly. I did really just embarrassingly embarrassingly bad um i'm pretty sure yeah i remember I, we died to the peep the bloke like fucking like seven times in a row or something because we had uh, nine lives and it went poorly all right so uh that's a space bar item right yeah it brings down lightning um when you uh use it i'm damn sure of that and it's nice for the boss but uh not what i'm looking for so i will pick it up crack the sky and re-roll it into the wafer i've never ever used this before but I'm pretty damn sure it is one of the best items in the game because it's the only damage resistance item. Everything does half a heart damage to me, no matter what it is and what happens in any situation. Everything does half a heart damage to me. So that is kind of like, I mean, obviously it's an insane item. Very, very good item. We have our first mini boss here. I didn't even talk about the fact that we're going in sloth here. But um, yeah, dude, I can't believe it. That is one of the best items in the game. Can you stop spawning these grubs, you son of a bitch? Son of a bitch. Ah, start firing the green things again. Yet There you go. See, you remembered. You remembered how. Problem is, you're not, like, killing the leeches with it and they're tanking all these shots for you. Ugh, you suck. I hate you. Why are you there? Die. Okay, good, good. We killed it, guys. We killed it. See, it was fine. Easy. Easy, Katka. Easy, Katka. Okay. So we get the hero front. Um... I'm going to save that because I don't want to use it on the boss. I want to save it for the next four um, to ensure I deal with the devil. Or at least increase the chances of a deal with the devil, at the very least. That's the, that's the plan, anyway. All right. Wow. Okay. A dime. Ten coins. Don't want if I do. Up to twelve immediately on the first floor. Not bad. Not bad in any light. All right. Let's uh, finish you off. Kill the body there. Finish you. Careful. The body could shoot me. There we go. And you. So, yeah, we have the wafer. So, I'm looking... Pretty honestly happy about this. We will go straight into here. Um, potentially, we'll get a re-roll here. So yeah, not using the hero fan here. It drops two soul hearts. I just, oh god, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I just took damage from Gertie. Uh, not Gertie. Uh, Gertie's the huge one. This is Larry Jr. Um, can't believe I just took it. Took damage there. And there was nothing stopping me. I just sort of walked into him. I guess it's just dumb damage that we all take here and there. And just happens, you know, especially when you're trying to focus and record and say useful things, you're not paying attention. Oh man, I don't know if you guys have ever tried to talk while you play a game, but it makes it significantly harder. But, I mean, I'm probably used to it by now at this point. Well, it doesn't matter that I took that second hit, really. That increases... I think it's range? Do I want to re-roll that? I think we should check the shop first, not that we can, really. I think the secret place is going to be here, which it wasn't. It looks like it's on my left down here, possibly, but we don't have a bomb for that. So I'm going to go get this Restore of Health, and uh, should I re-roll it, you know? It's just, it could be an increase of health instead. I feel like I really should. I think I, yeah, fuck it, I'm going to re-roll here. We're going to re-roll here. I want to use as many re-rolls as I can. It's not an amazing item, so we re-roll it. We get something much worse, uh, tears up, and judgment, um, yeah, well, I suppose we at least get judgment, I mean, we'll at least, you know, maybe get an item out of this as well, it would be nice to be re-roll whatever he gives us, but sadly, uh, yeah, we don't know about that, come on, give me something, oh, a key for the shop, I suppose, and he gives us the lipstick, range up, not bad, um, we won't, we won't go shop now with eight coins, though, alright, so we will use the hero fant, and get ourselves the soul hearts. We are Curse of Darkness, which is not good for me because I get very disorientated um, in these dungeons for some reason. I struggle to remember where we've gone. So we went down, so I'll just try and remember that. We have the first item and we have an arcade room. Not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, we could go play the uh, Blood Bank for a while, see if we can get any luck out of that. That would be nice. But for now, let's go into the item room. And that is movement speed, I think. We will wait to see if we want to re-roll that or not, but, um, you know, movement speed's not a bad thing, especially with this slow-ass movement speed I've got going on right now. Do we want to go to the boss room first? Yes, while we have the soul hearts, I think we should. Actually, when we don't have enough for a re-roll, I think we shouldn't, in case we do get a devil room, and I want to re-roll what's there. Um, so, we will wait a second longer before going to the boss room. I think we'll need to clear two rooms. 
Let's see, we got two. Yeah, okay, no, we're gonna we're gonna be able to go to the boss, kill it now, and that will give us enough fuel to sort of get another reroll there, uh, which will potentially be used on the boss room's item or obviously the devil room as long as everything goes smoothly here. So let's let's hope everything goes smoothly. Let's make everything go smoothly. Fuck saying hope. We're doing it. We're being confident. Yeah, yeah. It's only Monstro. It's one of the easiest enemies in the game. I have two soul hearts to protect me from taking red heart damage and I really have no excuse to take any. We also have the wafer to prevent ourselves from taking much damage in general. So this looks pretty good, you know? I'm gonna have to take four hits before uh, of anything he sends at me, four hits of anything he sends at me and hits me with uh, before I start taking red heart damage. So this looks really easy, you know? Easy boss. I have the wafer. Looks good. My damage is bad, sure, but hopefully with the fact that, you know, we're about to get a devil room, that can change pretty significantly and pretty quickly. So I think we're okay here. I'm look I'm happy about this run so far. Apart from the fact that obviously we have the um thingamabob, uh, the the shitty damage. There it is. Health increase, you know what we'll take that because we're about to go into the devil room. Please no Krampus. I <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm not happy about this. Whoa there, well, whatever. Oh, okay, uh, it doesn't really... Ah, God, fucking hell, stop doing that bloody move. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just... It's not happy about this situation. We're only taking half out every time we take damage, but I wanted a re-roll here, and the only physical thing that can drop off of Krampus is the lump of coal, which is technically... I walked into that. Uh, technically a damage increase, sure, but this, this boss fight is annoying as hell, as you can see. It takes ages to do it with the damage I have. I really needed to deal with the devil to sort of just get a straight damage increase, something useful and interesting, and uh, sadly, we just didn't. We just didn't get that at all. So, uh, just have to sort of suck it up. I, ah, God, I, I, I'm walking right into all this damage. Taking just so much. And he's spamming that Billy. It's fine. Don't get tilted. Relax. You're a good player, totally. And that means you're definitely not a good player based on the damage you're taking. But, yeah, the call, I mean, it's not a bad item. And technically, it is a damage increase. What works? It works like this. Um, oh my God, why am I taking that damage? Um, basically... The further your attack flies, the bigger it gets, and therefore more damaging it gets, the further it flies. I think it was originally tra attempted to code, but um, like when it hits an enemy, the further away the enemy is, it does more damage. But it ended up working like uh, irrelevant of that and just saying it depends on how far it flies, not how far away the enemy is uh, for the damage. So uh, yeah, that's how it works. And uh, pretty interesting stuff. All right, so I took a god... Just an embarrassing amount of damage there. Just an embarrassing amount of damage. Four hearts I lost there. And we just lost tears. So, overall, a really bad experience. And we're going to go to that item room. We're going to re-roll it because I'm just upset. I'm just upset. We get... Oh, my God. We have... Ipec. Or Ipec. Or Pac. This is... This is a game ender... This is a game ender here, or a game winner. So, we'll see which one it is. But, it's basically my all my attacks are bombs now. And, uh, you know, it can backfire really hard. I could sh I could walk into a room. Like, if I fired a left now and hit this rock, it would do damage to me. Um, fortunately, we do have the wafer, so, you know, that will prevent us from taking damage. But, what we're going to need is to not get range up. That's going to be something that completely destroys us, um, which is interesting because you normally want range up. But you see, I'm sure you've worked out why. Basically, it's it's if I have a higher range, it makes it much harder for me to hit where I want to aim. And I have to be further away from an enemy. An enemy that charges me will just kill me, you know. So that's an issue. Where is the secret room? There's clearly a path that we've not been yet. It's right. So hopefully the secret room's over here. That was kind of scary. See these flies? These flies really just, like, get up in your face. And it's actually hard to hit them with IPEC. Or IPEC. How do you pronounce it, guys? Give, give me some comments. Give me give me some info in the, in the, in the uh, comments. Alright, see how hard they are to hit. Alright, two chests. Not bad. Pinky eye. Um, kind of not worth, worthless with this. And a bomb. Alright, so up to ten coins. Let's look for this secret room. Where is it? There it is. Good lords. Alright. 
Oh, good room, good room. All right, so we found the shop. We found the secret room. We haven't found the super secret room. I wonder where that will be. I mean, we've kind of bombed every... Ah, not bombed here. Oh, wait, no. Apparently we have. I mean, we bombed there. The hitbox on this weapon's kind of a bit weird for looking for secret rooms. I may as well just check this. Yeah, a health increase. I'll take it. Plus, it means I can roll sooner. So, whoa, there. That is a terrifying room. That is just terrifying, especially when there's so many flies coming at me that I can't deal with because of how close they are to me. Let's try and deal with them. Oh, I walked right into that. I walked right into that. Okay, we took one down. Come on now. It's really hard when you have the range that I do right now. I want, like, as little range as possible. There, anyway, we're just going to take him down. I knew it would spawn these guys. I was just afraid that it, you know, it would. So I was trying to avoid doing that. See how hard it is when they get right up in your face like this. Took damage from the fly there. I'm baller here. Baller this time. Okay. Come on. Come on. I can, I can hit them. There we go. So I'm just trying to get, like, literal hits on them. But I'm, like, shooting over them. God damn it. It's so difficult. <laughs> it's like hilariously hard. Right, I got four hearts and, and an amazing weapon that's just a bit hard to use. I can do this. All right, we got the flies dead. The flies are dead. It's cool. Now it's just this bastard. I got him. I killed him, guys. Are you proud of me? Oh my god, that was embarrassing. So there's no secret room in here either. No. Okay. Well, I just don't know where it is. I mean, I'm blinded, so it's pissing me off and throwing me off in general. So I don't know where like, the super secret room is and stuff. But yeah, doing significantly poorly to say that we have okay items. I'm going to go in here. Screw it. Because, I mean, I got some re-rolls here. I got a portable blood bag, which is terrible. But I can re-roll it, I think. Also, you may notice the fly that's giving me trouble here. And he's like, right. He's desperately trying to, like, get in my way, essentially. He's really, like, fucking... I got a bomb, I suppose, but... Really do I want to waste a bomb on a fly? I guess I got no choice. God, that I, that was just terrible, right? So, can I re-roll this? I can. I got vampirism. Charm of the vampire. Every 13 kills, I get a heal. Not bad. Oh, that is a really good result. Alright, I'm just going to spend the last of my money on this. Because I'm just going to spawn loads of flies in here. There, last one on there. I'm going to just blow it all up. God damn it. Screw you, okay? I wanted the last one. Not, Don't make me do it again. Alright, okay. So we blow these guys up. Come on. Okay, I got a key and I'm just going to get out. I'm going to leave him so I can still get deals with the angel. Alright, so let's just get out of here. That floor was just... That floor was rough, man. It was rough. But our HP is okay. And uh, we have vampirism, so that's going to be really... Kind of interesting, actually. Um, okay, if I could just... Ah, ah, God, IPEC, 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 I can't pronounce it, is really hard to use, man. Like, insanely powerful and insanely back, like, it just backfires so hard if you just let it. So, it's just sort of understanding, you know, the movements and how far I can fire and stuff and the enemy types and their movements, but it's difficult. Oh, we found the secret room by accident there. Go, go IPEC. All right, come on. All right, I got him, I got him. Nope. I... I got him, I got him, I got him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, this weapon is amazing and terrible. All right. So no greed. A lot of money. We need to go to the shop, but, you know, there's a chance at greed here. So there's that to take into account. All right. What we really need is flight, I think, you know? That would make the difference, make it a lot easier. All right, this is going to be difficult. These guys are, they come at you, and, yeah, it's going to be tough. That's it. Walk right into it. Do it again. All right, not so bad. Okay, we do have a reroll here, so we'll walk into here, and it is, it's not a bad item, it's not a bad item, and it's technically a companion, but we could get better, so I will reroll it, and it's best friend, so definitely a regret there, but I'm going to probably try and reroll that again um, soon. Okay, cool, not so bad. Okay, it was just, this is, this is hell. Okay, it killed most of them. I, flies are actually really hard for me to beat for some reason. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. But look at the damage I do if I actually fucking hit. And we have vampirism, so that was working out pretty well. Okay. Um, 
I suppose there's always that chance that there's a secret, super secret room here, but it's going to be too hard with all these blocks in the way that you can't actually damage. And uh, we'll take a shortcut here to get over here. Actually, I just want to quickly check for a super secret room because we have the ability to get there. We have unlimited bombs, technically. I may as well look for it, you know? All right, so pop it there. No look, no look. All right, that's kind of scary. Another room of fucking enemies that try and hug you. Ranged enemies are like, uh, oh god, I nearly ran into that. Yeah, that's another scary thing about this weapon. You can run into your own attack. Um, I, I suppose you could technically speed run with this weapon because you can unlock the doors. But I don't want to do that, do I, really? All right, we found the shop anyway. These bastards. There we do. There we got them. All right, we got another reroll. Going to go immediately spend that on the item room because we had a really bad drop in there. Really bad. But we're slowly regaining health. That vampirism was actually kind of a godsend, actually. Because it just means that we get so much HP back. I have I have no idea what that is. Deck of cards. Oh, it spawns cards. The lovers, which will restore my HP. I may as well pop it. Just so I have, you know, the restore. I'll leave that there. And, uh, yeah, maybe we'll, have, maybe we'll re-roll that. Prob probably will. But uh, we still have the shop to check out. If we find a key of some sort. All right, we did check that, right? Yes, we did. All right, super, super secret room is not on my, could be on my left, actually. We're not checked there. If I just stay still. There we go, not there. All right. Oh, God, right. Another kind of scary room. All right, just made it through that gap. Cool. Okay, right. So this is, this is scary while there's, like, a lot of them. Because I'm just, like, getting stuck. Okay. And they, they, you see how they just sort of block me off there? All right, there, there. If I could just kill one of them, it gets significantly easier. There we go. Right. And two there. Two there. Okay, cool. Another one. No, no, no. That wasn't another one, but it, it did hit. It did hit. Okay, there. And there. Okay, we got it. We got it. God, it's 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 a trial, but I'm really enjoying like learning a new item like this. Got some vampirism. Awesome. Okay, this is really difficult, but really fun. Especially on the bosses. We can really deal with them well. All right, so this is another horrible room for this weapon in general. I'm just sort of forced to take a lot of damage to be able to attack them, I feel. I mean, if there's a way to sort of deal with that kind of situation better, do tell me. That was a terrible teleport, but we uh, identified the teleport pill. It's, really? It's not there? It's not there? Where is this super secret room, man? No, no idea right now. All right, boss time. This could be scary as hell, but what what can I do, you know? All right, this is going to be amazing and terrifying at the same time. Um, as you can see, obviously why I say that. All right, that's one down, but we have a leech, and leeches are hard for me to deal with. Okay, just I think I should just fire. Vampirism really being helpful there. All right, come on. Okay, dealt with that. Leech annoying, but can deal with. Okay, leeches... Leeches are kind of everywhere right now, and I'm not happy about that. I refer to them as grubs and leeches. I can't seem to decide on which one it is. Um, okay, there. Okay, cool. All right, we did it. Took some damage, but we gained the health back that we lost, I believe. Okay, all right. Not so bad. Just you now. There is vampirism and a heal. All right, cool. Oh, that was rough. Cancer, faster attacks. No, I don't actually want that with this. Uh, we have uh, some bombs. We have heart. We, yeah, we'll take it. And uh, the world shows where everything is. I will save that. Speed increase, go on. All right, world will save that for the next floor. We don't want increased attack speed because it could backfire with the bombs. Right, we do have a key to go in there. We have a lot of money. We may as well. All right, uh, we do have the map. We have... Uh, yeah, you know, the map's not a bad item. The map's not a bad item. I will take the ba take the map. I will take the soul heart. I will take even the heart as well. You know what? We're just going to take everything we can. Um, see what this is. It's death. I regret that. But we have a map, so I don't need the world, to be honest. So death will be okay. Um, cool. <laughs> death will be okay. What a great sentence. Let's check this. And it's worthless. Okay. Super secret room. No such luck. Lose one of the soul hearts. It's okay. It's just, you know, sometimes it can be worth it to go in there and check that. No super secret room. No idea where it is, man. Absolutely no idea. Aha! Exactly. Right there. Told you it was right there. Oh, some pills. Tears up. Uh, that's not range, is it? 
It's attack speed. I don't think I want that. And a teleport. We'll just take death then. I Yeah, tears up is just attack speed and I don't want faster attacks. So we will re-roll this. Oh my god. Increase of damage, slightly less movement speed and max health increase. Great item, great roll there, great pickup. Very happy with that. Cool. On to the next floor. So we found this secret room, found the super secret room, went into the shop, uh, fought a mini boss, fought the boss. All is well. We have a death card if things go wrong, which it will in a room with this IPX. So IPEC thing. Right. All right. So we know where the secret room is, so we'll immediately go there. Get uh, free shitty coins. So we're going to be facing greed when we go in the shop, I do believe. All right. Cool. Let's keep moving. Let's go downwards. Okay. All right, we've got some pills here, and we can actually get to them because we can just bomb these with our unlimited bombs. Um, and we can also just sort of disjoint them out of the little area. That's kind of cool. So we'll disjoint, disjoint this one. Uh, that was That's the opposite of where I wanted to be going. Okay, there we go. So is that... don't know what this is. Balls of steel. Good, good result. And I ate them worthless. Okay. So, super secret room could be here. Alright, it's not. And super secret room could be here. Although it's supposed to only be connected to one room, right? So, I guess technically it couldn't be there. Alright, that was this is pretty good. Pretty pretty good result. Um, happy about that. Alright, can we pull this off? So, I want to go upwards and fire right like this. Yeah, I did it. I did it. That was pretty cool. That was nifty. If you're quite accurate with this, you can be insanely strong. But as we can see, you know, I'm not insanely strong and I'm not insanely accurate with this shot. Hey, we got, we're buddies. We got like similar attacks, bro. All right, cool. Let's keep moving. So I, again, I have a death to sort of use on rooms that are particularly scary. That was a nice and simple room. And uh, we want to go find the item room. We know where the item room is. We need a way in there. We need, we need a key. Oh, man, another thing that requires a key. How dare the world do this to me. That was a rhyme. It was not on purpose, but I'm, I'm happy with it. Yeah, that bomb was kind of useful. Killed a lot of shit for me. Ha! <laughs> Literal shit as well. Oh, damn it. Did I miss or is that an invincible one? I missed. I missed. Shame you can't blow up chests to unlock them. That would be a nifty feature. All right, we are looking for the super secret. We found it. All right, cool. Get back to uh, full health. I can deal with that. If we get an arcade... Uh, that would be wonderful, but I believe you need five coins to spawn it, and uh, we didn't have five coins, so it will not spawn. So bad news there. Uh, if we can find a random blood bank, that would work out as well. So, you know, there's always the potential for that. Either way, we're going to have lots of red hats by the end of this, as long as I don't fucking shoot myself. You see the way it can backfire, guys. It is insane. All right. Oh, there's that key. We're going to stop using uh, up these recharges on the rerolls. So what we're looking for really is item matter and the vault to make our reroll restore faster. Those would be the items that we will really want. So let's go in here and spend a reroll. Increase of max HP is not something I want to say no to, so we won't actually roll that away and we'll take it. And now we want to try and find the boss room as fast as possible. So I think it's actually going to be I think it's been the right, maybe. That was a okay result. That was fine too. That was good. All right, not bad. I think I'm getting the hang of it. I just needed long enough to sort of understand how it works. Uh, we're getting better at it. Okay, that's a nice room. <laughs> Very nice room. Can we get to that? Can we get to that with some clever shooting? Okay, a bit further away. There we go. Ah, oh, okay. I really like this item, man. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, it was beautiful. That was beautiful. <laughs> that was really satisfying. All right, let's check this out. No boss room, sadly. Oh, God. Careful, mate. You'll hurt someone. Me, specifically, though. All right, you'll do. And we will fire at you like that. That's clever. Shoot in there. All right. Okay, so the boss room was the original way I was going, which is a shame. We wasted some potential re-rollage. Um, I think we're probably going to get a deal with the devil, and I think I'm probably going to take it. Um... I really need flight, so that's what I'm looking for. Uh, with the health we have, the vampirism, it's all going well in terms of that. Okay, so we'll kill you. We'll kill you. You want to go for the ones that are, like, long range as fast as possible, I've, I've started learning, I think. Um, yeah, I'm understanding how it works, so I'm happy about that. All right, let's move in. We are against pestilence. Not bad. Uh, that's a bad situation to find myself in. There we go. Um... Leeches are going to be kind of hard to deal with, so we're going to have to 
Hope he helps me a little bit. There he did. Thank you. And he's actually dead. I didn't even try there. There we go. No deal with the devil. That's a shame. And you can't re-roll it because it's the only item he can give you. But I'm looking for a companion. I'm looking for other ways to damage when they're close to me. And cube of meat is exactly that. So I could be more upset about that. That's for sure. Anyway, we found everything on the floor. And we can't go into the shop room where greed probably was. So, yeah. Let's keep moving. All right, that was okay. And we can deal with the flies now, thanks to the cube of meat. Very good pickup, actually. And it prevents some damage as well, every now and then. I'm, uh, You know, cube of meat, good fucking pickup. I, I'm glad I... Even if I could re-roll it, I don't think with the way it's going right now, I would. I took a bit of damage there that I shouldn't have. More balls of steel, fuck yes. We still have this death to use that we've really not done. So a scary room, I need to make sure to use that. So we've got to look for the super secret room whenever we can, but we do know where the secret room is. It is located right here. It is one up, I think. Right? That's one up. Yeah. Everything is... Oh no, it's not just it's not just everything, but I thought that was the one, that, like the giant mushroom that just increases all stats, but it's uh, two lives now, and I can't complain. I, I, I want that. I don't want to reroll that. That was kind of... It's kind of cruel, that. Alright, I need a way into there. I need a key. I really need an item room. That was fairly okay. Good result. I've got to be careful not to hit the rocks because you can backfire there. You know, what? I'm going to clear these rocks just so it's easier to walk through this room as well. All right, super secret room. No, it's not even physically possible for it to be there, but I tried anyway. That was a nice result. Okay, key going straight to the item room and potentially re-rolling it. Let's find out what's in there. I mean, the, the, the D6, man, is insane. All right, I'm re-rolling that um, for sure. I'm not happy about that. I don't want money anymore, to be honest. I want good items. That's terrible. I hate chocolate milk so much. Uh, we, are, we will be attempting to look for more re-rolls here. So into the arena room we go. All right. Okay, so these are kind of scary. As long as we get some good range, though, they're okay. They take only one hit to kill. I just have to hit them. Which is easier said than done. There we go. Oh, we didn't hear him. He teleported. Land. Okay, these are scary because they properly jump at you. So I'm just going to put a bomb down at random in the hopes that it damages them. It, I had two bombs and I didn't hit one. Three bombs and I didn't hit one. We're just going to start attacking again, really. Clearly has backfired. <laughs> Why did I even waste those bombs? Not that it matters in my situation, does it? But... You know, don't want to waste things like that in general. All right, nice uh, pick off there. Can we get the double kill? We can get the single kill, but not the double kill. All right, this item is insane. It is just so good and so bad at the same time. I love it. It's fucking Isaac in a nutshell. Just true pain. All right, there's the bot. That is the room clear. Uh, that is the room. That is the room. That is that is the room clear. See, the first time said it first time. <laughs> All right. Um. Not that bad of a room, really. That'd be scary, but... You know, I just it takes me a little bit longer to deal with the room in general, but I don't mind taking a bit longer and not taking damage, you know? All right, down we go. We find Envy. So there is going to be a shop that actually has items in it, which is good. good result. Again, this is a, a nice and bad situation to have IPEC on because it just spawns loads of things, but it takes them down when they're tiny. So, yeah. Not much to say about it. Just try and avoid damage. Okay. The vampirism was actually just such a sweet pickup. It has really done work for us. That was a double kill. Single kill. Alright, I was looking for a triple kill there. I was looking for a triple kill, but I didn't get it. And got him. There we go. A key. Perfect. And we get the reroll off. Um, yeah, I'll look for the super secret room now. Just in case. Just in case. I believe the super secret room can only be connected to one to one room, but I still check anyway, just in case, for some reason. Alright, let's go. Reroll you into Shears, a spacebar item. Not happy about it. I guess I should pick it up so it doesn't come to the pool. 
Um, someone left a comment saying something about it like not working like that, but the way they explained it confused the shit out of me, so I don't understand, so I'm still going to keep picking them up, hoping that it gets them out of the pool. Anyway, uh, as many rerolls as we can get. Um, the fucking asshole flies kicking my ass again, but we do have a technical companion here that is backing me up, thankfully. Alright, try not to waste that coin there. Companion! Ah, oh, I didn't get there in time. Okay. Can we take him out? There, got him. Now, companion cube. Go. There, got him. Key for the shop. Uh, no, not while I have don't have the money. I want to save the key. Still not use this death card. Like, this is kind of bad. Okay, that worked out. Okay. Just place it there. Okay, that could be scary if I wasn't quick. Second key. Good. All right. Uh, that backfired a little bit. A lot, actually. Okay, let's be smart about this. So I want to walk upwards and fire right. There we go, okay. So we got some coins, and now we can go to the shop. Okay, good good result. Um, it's not going to be greed there as well, so yeah, good news overall. Um, walking through a wall while I looked at the time, just checking how long we've been going. 30 minutes. Okay. Ladder's a really bad item, but I don't have flight. But I'm not going to take it. Not, not a chance. So... I will re-roll that if I can, but I care more about re-rolling... Should I... Should I care more about re-rolling the item room, or more about trying to get item matter? Allowing us for more... rolls in general. I don't know, I don't... I'm not sure about that. That's a question that you guys can answer in the comments for me if you know it. Um, I would appreciate that. Intensely. Okay, come on you son of a bitch. That's it. There we go. Alright. Another coin. Good. This is two lovers. I suppose I will pop it just so there's some red hats on the floor. Can go get those later if need be. On our way to the boss room now at last. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can you die? You can. Thank you very much. And that one as well. Come down here. Thank you, sir. Walk into it. Thank you. And you. Uh, no, no, like this. There you go. There you go. All right. Getting good at that fire rate, man. I'm, I'm okay at that now. All right. We do have another reroll at last. Uh, we will take a shortcut here. Oh, yeah. Unlimited bombs is kind of wonderful, man. It's kind of wonderful. All right. We will re-roll the item room. Going to do the item room. Yeah. Feel blessed. All right. I, I can't remember what that does exactly. You guys are going to have to let me know in the comments. But I'm pretty sure it's good, right? It's like an awesome item. I'm pretty sure. I feel. For some reason, it's in my mind, despite not knowing specifically what it does, that that's a good item to pick up. Uh, you'll have to let me know what it does specifically, though. Ah, backfired. Oh, okay, this is kind of scary, admittedly. Okay, there. That provides me with some space. That kills that. You're going to walk around there into that. And then you're going to come into this corner like this. Okay, like this. Like this. Like this. Like, like this. Like, like this. Th fucking... Like this. Come on. Come on now. This is a... See? Hit him first time. <laughs> that was just embarrassing, man. Oh, bomb. But plenty of money. Plenty of money. So we definitely want to try and get a re-roll for the shop if we can. But uh, it doesn't look like we will, to be honest. Uh, all right. Let's find out. Here we go. Loki. Just Loki by himself. But there is that annoying fucking... Does death work on this? It does. It doesn't. It does, it doesn't. I, I can't tell. I couldn't see his HP. I just decided that it did. Uh, but we used definitely... Oh, my God. Okay, deal with the angel. Max health increase. I'll take it. Let's get these rocks out of the way. Okay, come on. No idea what that does. And I wish I had a reroll, but I guess we don't know what it does, so I should try it. Holy Grail HP up. Okay, I mean... Oh! No way. I've got permanent flight. I've got permanent flight. Fuck, fuck re-rolling that, man. i got permanent flight. Oh, and it increased my HP a little bit. Oh, that was a great result. Absolutely wonderful result. And now we can look for the super secret room. Uh, we will get a re-roll probably here, actually, if we find the super secret room, which is a nice fact. Uh, although that bloody... Things in the way, isn't it? Ah, there it is. 
Okay, come on. Ah, you son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, um, flight. What a wonderful thing to get here, especially with this item. You know, I was really concerned with the fact that I have this scary item that can hurt me and having no flight really backfiring on me. All right. Okay, bomb. Uh, one chest that, you know, I lose half of a soul heart, but uh, I gain... Basically, I walked in there and gained half a soul heart. So, overall, good. It's like we're playing that Community Remix version. I watched, um... I saw that, you know, you guys have been telling me to watch Northern Lion, as I said last time. And, um, you know, I, I watched his uh, Community Remix one. And apparently there's, like, half soul hearts in that. It's really weird, but kind of clever. There's also one that's, like, half red heart, half soul heart. And I think that's cool. Alright, so we are on the floor now with, um, Mom herself, at last. Flight. You are a godsend, sir. I'm talking to Flight like it's some sort of real person, but hey, that's kind of mean, you know. Flight's a real person. He deserves love. Oh my god. Alright, we have a reroll here, and it's going to be one of the most important ones. Simply because, uh, you know, there's not going to be many more item rooms from that, from here, basically. And very little reason to reroll, so definitely want to find the shop. We're going everywhere we, everywhere we can. Okay, this is would be scary if I didn't have flight. There's a soul heart right there. I've got more. I've got more health than you can actually see on screen, which is also quite nice. Triple kill. Oh, this is a good run, isn't it? It's looking really nice. The hermit will take me to the secret room. I know where that is. I will save that, I suppose, um, as a teleport to get me out of the boss room. So maybe I should. Yeah, I'm gonna go in the boss room straight away and then have that teleport me out, pretty much. I think that will work out well. Okay, we get another key. Ah, fuck. I just lost half a soul heart there because it was a fool. Hey, a tinted rock. First one we've seen, I think, I hope. Fucking look at our health. It's just, it's more health than you can even see. It's beautiful. Does anyone know the max health? I think somewhere I heard it was 12, but I don't quote me on that because I don't know for sure. Um, 12 hearts maximum, I'm, I'm thinking. All right, sacrifice room, not interest in. And we have a mini boss, which means this, there will be no greed. Wow, we will have seen no greed so far. That was kind of awesome. Left hand, loads of red chests. I'm down. I'm down for that. All right. Um, keep looking for super secret room we do need to find. Did we check here? Mm, yeah. And here? I don't think it's physically possible here, but just have a quick look. May as well, you know. Not, mu not got much to lose. Just quickly checking. Doesn't cost me anything. I have a lot of money here, so I will play this a little bit just in case. But I'll probably end up blowing this up. So I'll spend like, I don't know, five coins. Well, it's giving me lots of advice and little quotes and stuff, but it's not telling me anything like that I want to see, you know, not giving me night. There we go. Judgment. Judgment, judgment. Judgment. I can't remember what judgment does. I think it's just a nuke. I'm going to walk into the next room and just use it. We'll go to 35. Wow, really? Not Didn't get much here, did we? Alright, blow you up. I got some keys and money for it, I suppose. Alright, Judgment. Ah! It's Judgment. Obviously, we fucking had this card already. And I, I know what that does. Why couldn't I remember? Okay, this is kind of a weird-ass room. But it's okay. Just send them here until it kills it. Like this? No. Wait for it. Wait for it. And this. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll kill this. And kill that. There we go. Alright, we have Judgment to play. Uh, we'll go in here first. That's good, right? It's like a... I I don't know what that does off the top of my head, so I'm just going to have to take it. Faith up. I assume that gives me some uh, itemage, you know, to do with... Uh, what's it called? Um, you know, steel, silver, soul hearts. There we go. I've, I've said that word so many times, but I still forget. I'm not going to murder you, mate. Just take my money and give me an item, you know? Take my money and run. Damn it, that's not that's not good. Alright. Voltage! Yes! 9 volt, it means that I get a quicker charge on my item. So I can re-roll loads of times, but right now I can't re-roll at all. There's no purpose to re-rolling, damn it. Oh man. I've got nothing to re-roll. I need the shop. I really need the shop. Okay, that's kind of scary. I think I got hit there. Whoa there. I nearly walked right into that. That was nearly a double kill. Nearly. Alright, bombage and go. Please, find the shop. Find the shop. That's what I need to do. There we go. So bad, not so bad. Somehow they survived the explosion. 
Okay. The are kind of scary. Oh, soul hearts. Don't mind if I do. They're good, you know. They're, they're, they're useful. I keep losing them, so <laughs> I need them. Okay, we have uh, the arena room here, which is good. Good to see. I really need to stop taking damage from these guys, but they're quite hard to catch with my attack. There we go, got them in the end. All right, we finally found... All right, we're re-rolling teleport or whatever it is. Ten bombs. I want to re-roll that if I can. And let's go check the shop now. I think that's the Bible. I don't want the Bible. I don't need it. I think I'm good. So I want to re-roll that. We'll take the pill. Balls of steel. Okay, take the key. All right, we definitely want to re-roll that. We also want to re-roll the other thing, so we'll go clear what we can and see if we can't find a way to re-roll. We have 9 volt, which means that we're, our charge is much faster, so hopefully that plays a strong part in us getting lots of nice re-rolls here. Oh, that was kind of scary, but we managed to get a triple kill in the end. God, I am taking a lot of damage, but it just looks like I'm not because the ridiculous amount of health I'm working with. But I am throwing that away by just being so, like, not cautious at all with my uh, attacks and my positioning. And I really need to fix that. All right, should be able to pick him off. No. Nope. There we go, got him. All right, so we need one more room, and then we get a reroll. And we have to weigh up whether we want... Um, which, which item that we want to re-roll more than the other, you know? Oh, we found the uh, super secret room accidentally there. Well, that was a good result. God, we're spawning a lot of these here. A little bit scary. A little bit scary, you know? A little bit scary. Whoa there, whoa there. Our movement speed's quite nice and the flight is wonderful, but worthless in this room. Took some damage because I walked into that. I'm an idiot. We only have three left, so I have no excuse to get hit now. There's not many of that things flying at me. And we're good. There we go. Nice. All right, we have that re-roll. Check this. Uh, I guess I'll spend a little bit of money on you. A little bit. It's a tiny bit. A little bit of money. I know I want the left hand. I like the left hand. Alright, let's blow you up. Ah, soul heart and a money. And a money. The stars. Pretty sure that's useful. And we have the reroll. So, our choices... Our choices were... I think we rerolled the teleport thing. It was 10 bombs, like Mega Bomb, and the Bible. I think I care for the bombs more than the Bible, so we'll reroll that. Book of Revelations and, and the Bible. I think we've just rerolled away the Book of Revelations, and that's the Bible now that I'm looking at it. A um, little bit of regret going on here, guys. But it's okay. We probably get another reroll there, and I'm going to reroll the shop. Um, because I'd rather have the bombs than the Bible, than Book of Re Reservance, or whatever it's called. Whatever names and things mean, I don't care, man. I'm too cool for that. <laughs> too fucking newbie to know them. That's what's the real deal. Okay. And down you go. It's amazing they survived that explosion. It really is. Fucking hell, just give me more soul hearts. I need them. All right, boss fight. Okay. This is going to be a bit difficult because my attacks, like... Hard to place, but overall it should be fine. I'm gonna just press the start. It teleports you to the item room, Aaron. It always has. Never not done that, you know that. So, we have the hermit to get out of the room this time. So, how would I? Why? I'm I'm dumb. Okay, I'm dumb. I admit it. I'm the first to admit it. Okay, let's let's just continue and just forget that ever happened, okay? Just forget it ever happened. It's really hard to hit her foot, so it looks like I'm going to be focusing entirely on hitting these bits of flesh that are on the side. Or, you know, occasionally I can hit the foot when it does something like that, but mostly I'll be aiming at the flesh, I feel. Like, there, there we go, I can hit that. Although, not if my projectile fires too, fires too slowly. There we go. Pretty easy so far. Looks about done. And there it is. Pretty good. We do have that reroll. Do I want to re-roll this? No, this is okay. This is fine. Uh, so we will take it. See what these are. Tears up. I don't want. Teleport. I don't want right now. I found pills. There's nothing. I found. But that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. So we'll take the hermit to get out of here. Uh, you know what? No, we'll take the teleport. No, the teleport could take us to the boss room instantly. So we'll take the teleport with us down to the next floor. There we go, the Hermit takes us over here, we re-roll that into the Book of... Ah, man, that is just... That's depressing, isn't it? That hurts, that hurts. Alright, so, it's fine. We'll take this. 
and uh, see what we can get from this room. There we go. Okay, these are scary. I wish I'd taken one out there when I could, but I got a double kill in the end, so it worked out. Whoa there, buddy. Whoa there. Calm it down. Calm it down. Stay still. Stay still and die, please. Thank you. Alright, these are all pretty fucking fast ones, so I'm not, not happy with that. Oh god, this is actually going to really suck. I really need to take them out. Like that, there we go. So, bomb. If I can just do that, enough. I've got fucking tons of bombs. Tons of bombs. There we go. There we go, that was that was smart. We got the bomb back in the end. Alright, cool. So, uh, no recharge here. No possible way, I don't believe, to get another reroll there. So, yeah, we're just going to pass on the Bible, pretty much, and uh, keep on trucking along. What's in there? I think it's the missing page, actually. I don't want to go in there. All right, down to the next level, into the womb, take the teleport pill with me, and on we go. Oh, Curse of Darkness here is bad. Teleport. I have no idea where we are, but I had no idea before, anyway. And, wow, okay, we found, apparently, a, uh, a tinted rock somewhere in there. So I'm going to spend all my money here, just because I'm not going to spend it anywhere else. So I'll cut this. All right, on we move. I don't want to take this tears up, man, because it's just going to backfire, isn't it? Okay, this is not so bad. Ipex good for the mask and hearts, you know, because they're in, like, a specific spot. Hey, can you get hit by this cube, please? Because you're hard to hit because you move so quick, so I'm just using the cube on him. Hey, that might be far enough. Nope, it wasn't. There we go. <laughs> the cube coming in handy here. Uh, well, we could check this. The compass. Yeah, I need it. I need it. We'll take it. And we shouldn't be struggling too hard here. Sadly, I walked right into the enemy and nearly did again. I kept struggling for some reason on this. Very easy to deal with with this weapon, but you know me, guys. Apparently, sense and stuff just not relevant. Come on, stop dodging me. Stop dodging me. Just die. Accept fate, you know? It's not much you can do, man. Just do it. There you go. All right, so we have chubs here. Or chub, rather. Could use my bombs here, but I really don't need to. All right. See if we get any, like, left-hand usage here on the um, floor, because they'll spawn loads of red chests. There we go. Dude, dude, the damage on this weapon is wonderful. Two monstros is kind of scary, but with this weapon, as long as they don't jump around too much, that's fine. Hey, we're seeing if we can land a bomb on it. No, you jumped away from it. Fuck. Uh, hit him. If we can kill one of them, it becomes significantly easier. There we go. All right. Damage insane. Damage off the hook. All right, last hit. There we go. Beautiful. And we get a shitty trinket for effort, so pass on that. But we did uh, get the compass, which will be really useful on the following floor to get straight to the boss as fast as possible. And if we get anything after that, because we've seen some weird stuff, found secret room. Hey, look, there's greed. Okay, then. Not really going to be relevant. God, the damage is just insane. Mom's heart is going to be one of the easiest boss fights with this weapon, because you want to beat Mom's heart by uh, basically sort of abusing uh, let me just try and kill this room first um, you beat mom's heart by abusing bombs mostly, you, you kill the things that she spawns to help her instantly by placing bombs where you think they're going to appear um, and that's how I usually beat her but I have permanent bombage here so who cares it's kind of scary here because of these bloody rocks and these guys are being kind of annoying, use the, I'm just going to use the bombs, i got like a really like big supply of them and if they help me kill these things faster, I'm happy with it, because I have no real use for them with this weapon. There we go. Just being careful with the usage of that. And on we go. Still looking for the fucking boss room. Hey, we got loads of money. We'll, we'll play Judgment. We need a reason to reroll here, so let's do that. We got Lad, a massive HP increase. So I'm going to take that. I'm just going to take it. It's in this is insane. This is actually insane, the amount of HP and how oh, like pretty nice this run has been in general. I don't usually get this kind of kindness from the game, but hey, I'm getting better with this weapon because of it. It's given me more time to practice with it, and I'm, I'm much more confident about it, and I'm happy with that fact. Whoa there, Broheim. Whoa there. Calm down. You may be me, but you ain't as cool, as powerful. Okay. Don't really know what I was saying there, but I said it. So you can't take that away from me. Okay. 
Managed to take out something there. On accident, by accident rather. Um, good news. Alright, where the fuck is this boss room, man? There it is, speak of the devil. Ah. Ah. I guess the expression, speak of the devil, isn't as relevant when devil is the devil is literally in this game. Like, is it like bad to say that? Do you think he'll be, think he like sneezes when we talk, when we say speak of the devil? All right, we have two lives if we fuck this up somehow. But uh, yeah, it would be this. It would be this fucker. I mean, who else would it be? Who else would it be? I hate this boss fight. I'm so bad at it. And uh, you guys gave me some tips. One of the main ones was don't you can stand above it. It doesn't shoot upwards. It shoots down and to the side. So that's a strategy that I would employ here if I could. There we go. So yeah, he can't shoot up. Good strategy. Ooh. Deal with the devil. That's movement speed. And my movement speed is a bit lacking right now. So we'll take it. So that's good. All right. Deal with the devils. Uh, nail and an upside down cross. I've never seen that item before. Perhaps I've unlocked it recently. Um, never seen it before. Let's give it a wiki. It's known as Lord of the Pit. Isaac can fly over all obstacles, including damage floors, spikes, rocks, and pits. Increases speed by one. I already have flight, and the increase in speed is slight and not as relevant as I need it to be for it to be worth it, really. So we're going to pass on that, and we're going to re-roll both of them. We got Scary and we got Brimstone. Again, I have Flight, um, so I don't want that. And Brimstone, I suppose I could make use of it. Do I really want Brimstone in this situation? Our damage right now, how is it looking? We're just, we just alt-tabbed. You looked at my Steam list there, sorry. Um, damage is actually quite bad, but the explosion is good. Ah. No, no, we're going with I. We're having an IPEC run. We're doing something different. Screw you, devil. Screw you. Let's move on. All right. So we know exactly where the boss room is. We know there's an arcade. Uh, is it worth it? No, I just want to go straight to the boss room. I just want to go straight there. All right. So we have a copy of myself. Ow! I'm stupid. So stupid. It's just. How am I taking damage here? Good thing I got a fucking ridiculous supply of fucking soul hearts. Stay. There we go, got him. Nope, no I didn't. Okay, it's fine. You know what, just stop trying to be fancy about it. There we go. Alright, you'll die. And you'll die. And you know what, I'm going to try something different here. Oh, never mind, found the, ne found the Emperor card, uh, whatever. No, screw it. Just because, I'm going to save that. Right, we're going to do something different here. Something I don't normally do. I've never done before, in fact. I'm going to try this. Just skipping rooms. And going straight to the boss fight. This is kind of scary to try and skip, to be honest. There we go. Go, go, go. I'm just going to try and skip straight there. Because, I mean, I can. That's a really bad item. Some pills here. Speed up. I'll take it. And balls of steel. I'll take it. All right. Emperor for the next floor if there is one. Can you No, I don't think you can skip into the boss room. I've never I've never seen that before, so I don't think that's possible. So let's just focus on killing what's fighting us right at the moment. Go. Alright. Hit him. Fuck. Try again. I move. Son of a bitch. Stay still. And we got him. Cool. Alright, boss fight room. Here we go. Here we go. This is going to be so easy, like hilariously easy, but actually these things are going to be hard to hit because of the positioning, so I'm just going to use a bomb on them. And now, it should be really easy. Should be. There you go. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is insane. Ah, oh, Monstro. It would be. Would be Monstro. The only thing that could slow me down right here. Son of a bitch. Die, please. There we go. All right. And back to it. Back to it. There we go. Just destroying everything that's spawning before anything can happen. Oh my god. So fucking awesome. I didn't even try to dodge that really. There you go. And we have some sort of angel thing. I don't understand this, but we apparently go to heaven when we stand in that. And we're now in heaven. And uh, we saved the emperor card for this reason. Here we are, we're facing Isaac. Isaac versus Isaac. 
Fucking it. Fuck if I know, man. I have no idea what's going on. So you have to dodge a lot, but I do have a lot of HP, so I'm okay. All right, our damage is no longer as impressive. We're taking half heart damage every time, so I'm just barely even, like, concerned. When I first saw this, if you watch this, the highlight of the stream, it just scared the shit out of me, but because I've got so much HP, so much fucking, like, potential damage, and it's, like, just destroying everything, I have, I'm not scared, you know? I'm just gonna tank it. I'm not- I'm probably not gonna take any red heart damage just standing here. What an easy run, what an easy boss fight in the end that was. The D20 has appeared in the basement, we've just unlocked a new item. I've never seen that before, I guess just do- beating Isaac as Isaac maybe does that? Or with the D6 run, you unlock the D20? I have no idea what the D20 does, please leave a comment telling me. Is that it then? Oh. Ah, yeah, we've seen this ending before on stream. It's like Isaac realizes that he's evil and locks himself away, basically, because he knows that he apparently is corrupted like the story tells. So there you go. Um, We have actually completed a bit more of this picture uh, with that run. I think when we complete the picture, we complete... Um, we unlock the Polaroid, which then allows us to go to a next boss and unlock the 13th ending. Um, we've beat the game and seen 11 endings. Like, let me show you. Um, 11 endings. We're missing end 11, though, uh, itself. And there's 13 pet potential endings. So, beat the devil, get the picture, go to the final, final boss. We're nearly there. We're nearly ready for rebirth. I am quite bad at this game at times, and sometimes I'm lucky, and sometimes it's good. So, there you go, guys. Uh, 14 kills total now. Looking pretty good. Very happy with my progress as a player. Isaac, not perfect, but getting there. Um, or getting better, rather. And uh, really enjoying it. Please leave a like if you've enjoyed the video, and uh, leave tips and tricks and stuff in the comments. See you next time, guys. Have a great night.